Okay, so um, uh, my name is Annalie Horn. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Um, it's Thursday, August 12th, uh, 2021 at 630. This is a outreach committee for Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council. And um, now I will do a roll call. So uh, Vincent Gonzalez Reyes. Present. Mr. Ortiz. Present. And Victor, I gotta mess up your last name. You say it. <laughs> uh, it's Victor Azanedo. Present. All right. Um, now we will do um, two minutes per person, non agenda public comments. Is there any public comments? Two minutes per person. Going once, oh, you going have, twice. Oh, uh -huh. one, one second, let me, yeah, Richard, I don't know why Richard went back to panelists, but there's no, there's no public comment. It was just Richard. Okay. Yeah. So now what we will do, um, Community um, and board announcements. And this is also uh, two minutes per person. So um, I have some. One is that now that school is about to get in session, we want to do a new logo competition for the neighborhood council and get the kids involved in that. So uh, I would like to do some outreach probably with our youth rep and get the word out, not just limited to the high school students, but a nice um, opportunity to get the younger kids more involved with the community. So uh, that's one thing for outreach to work on. Um, uh, that we have also vacancies for uh, different stakeholders and we could uh, with our different outreach that we'll be doing, we can uh, try and focus on that, getting, filling our seats in with some good community members. And also um, a town hall meeting, would like to organize a town hall meeting regarding the Avenue 26 night market, something also that we could get done with Pluck. So those are, those are the three things that I have to announce and, now, if uh, anybody else wants to have any announcements, community or? I do. Order. It's no. me, Vicente, Vicente Gonzalez Reyes. Um, mm -hmm. as, a, as an area rep, as area rep, uh, area two rep, and outreach um, chair. I'd like to see if everybody will be on board to do like a vaccine block party, kind of resource fair type of thing that we go to every area. And maybe we could start like every Saturday and do a block party. I mean, we could start in my area too. And then we'll, we'll take it throughout the whole Lincoln Heights area. That's one thing I've been thinking about doing because uh. Before, that's what we used to do. We used to do resource fairs. And uh, I would think uh, if I could, I mean, with the support of other community leaders and our assembly member and councilman, uh, Gil Cedillo and Senator Dorazo and Hilda Solis office, we could uh, create a vaccine block party where there's, there'll be a resource fair at the same time. And that will be an opportunity to greet and meet every neighbor that lives in our block, in our area, and share information of resources that we are aware of that there is in our community and how we could all get involved in our community and get more active. That's one of my ideas that I would like to uh, share with, even if you're not in the outreach committee, but you would like to help by supporting 
I mean, that's what it's all about. That's one of the reasons why I'm even involved. I just want to uh, share the resources that I'm aware of that there is for our community. And let me know how I could uh, support or help. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Put this stuff on the list. All right. Anybody else? You have Victor. Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to announce that um, I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with the, I guess, the Lincoln Heights uh, Trash Club. Um, but I think they, they just started an Instagram and they have a Facebook group. So they are meeting up uh, this Saturday uh, at 9 a.m., which is the 14 um, at 370 West Avenue, 26th Street. Um, I'm probably going to stop by just to introduce myself. Um, I know we have the, I, I think with Jimmy, the meeting at 10. So I'm going to stop by for a bit, just introduce myself and probably help out with the cleanup. Um, like I mentioned in the other general body meeting, I am interested in doing something similar at a larger scale with like all the different area reps. So I just wanted to see how, how they're doing and possibly maybe we can team up with them or branch off or something. But I, I will be going um, this Saturday if anyone's interested. Thank you. All right, cool. Yeah, I saw that. So uh, maybe I'll try to link up with you before um, the Jimmy Gonzalez uh, town hall. So uh, anybody else? Uh, Richard, I got a, I got a comment on the previous. Um, I'd like to join you if you don't mind sharing that information. A, a comment on the what? For, I believe it was Victor. Uh, for the trash club? For, oh, oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you mind, give, uh, my emails should be on, on their website. So you mind sending me an email with the information? Yeah, I got so you. I I'll, I'll get it. I'll get in contact with you. Perfect. Yeah. I saw, I think I saw the, uh, Instagram too, so I can shoot it to you too or whatever. Anyways. I appreciate well, all of it. Okay. All right. Anybody else? So I don't, I don't see anybody in the public with their hand up, so you can close item four. Okay, so closing item four, item five, new agenda items. So now we can all take a moment to introduce ourselves and uh, why we are on the outreach committee. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay, so um, <laughs> I am on the outreach committee because I, uh, when we were canvassing um, for the campaign, I really, my favorite part was going around and just talking to everybody and asking them in the community what community members wanted to see, you know, anything, uh, you know, any concerns or things they'd like to see and just really getting to know them and, um, what they'd like to see happen. And that was uh, making those connections was so awesome. And um, also getting different perspectives of things that uh, I might not see myself. And, you know, so, uh, you know, more, more minds, more ideas together, you know, is just uh, is better. So I like that. And I am very social. And I am really excited about the outreach committee. And Everybody on our committee is great. So I think we're going to do a really good job. All right, next. I'll go. So name's Richard Ortiz. I am currently the seat for the Area 5 rep. Uh, I joined this committee because I like to, I'm right, currently I, I, I go to a lot of skate parks and I just see a bunch of kids who, who really want to try this stuff but don't have the equipment or anything like that. I, I, I give away a couple like hundred dollars worth of equipment already. And like the kids love it and I love the feedback. And I wanna expand on that aspect, just helping out the youth, pretty much it. Thank you. All right, thank you, Richard. Next, uh, Vincente, you wanna go? I'll go for what? Oh, to introduce yourself and why you are on the outreach committee. The reason, oh, okay, my name is Vicente Gonzalez Reyes. 
the reason I'm uh, involved or I like being involved is because of outreach. Uh, I attend different events. I'm always in, trying to work with different community leaders in different areas. And I'm just trying to um, put Lincoln Heights on the map. But of course, I, none of that could be done by myself. I need the support of the community in order to bring these resources that I'm aware of that there is out there. And I just got love. I just got too much love for my city and my area that I live in, you know? And um, I just want to connect with the right people. I mean, I've done beautification days with different organizations. I know who to go to so we could make it a fun event where everybody gets involved, not just a certain group of people. I'm here to work with everyone and I'm the biggest cheerleader. So reach out to me if you guys wanna get together and we, so we could plan, you know, beautification days, food distributions, vaccine sites. I mean, showers of hope. I mean, you name it. Um, you know, I'm willing to work with others. That's what I do. And um, I just got, I'm just self-motivated, that's it. And um, I just wanna connect with the right people and make things happen, not just talk about it. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you, Vincent Dave. All right, Victor, last but not least. Uh, hi, everyone. Victor Asinedo, um, Area 3. Um, the reason why um, I joined the outreach is because that's pretty much why I joined the council in general. Um, before I started going to the meetings, like I really didn't know anything about Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council. Um, I did run back in the day, I just out of curiosity, I wanted to be involved, but then I got a little busy. But now that I have more time, I really want to be involved because in the last couple of years, I don't know, I didn't know anything that was going to Lincoln Heights Council. So I wanted to be there so I can outreach and let people know what's going on. Uh, just like Vincente says, yeah, uh, resources, resources that are available are not really introduced to the community. So I also want to help out with, with that. Um, different resources, you know, get sponsorships, you know, from different um, uh, political entities and stuff like that. So that, that's very important to me. Uh, another issue is, you know, the trash, <laughs> very important. Um, out of the sidewalks and streets, we don't get street sweepers. So I wanna make sure that the resources that are supposed to be provided to the community are provided. So um, hopefully me having this position um, and being in outreach, I can uh, get those resources for the community members. Um, also, um, the other thing is that I, I just like helping people. So that, that's something that this is gonna put me in the, in the position that I'm gonna be able to help out the community and also um, learn uh, about new community members that might be new to the area or existing ones that ha I have not met yet. Thank you. Awesome. I think that's a really good segue into the part B of what the outreach committee purpose and goals are, because, um, you know, that really that's kind of encompasses what the outreach is to build up the community. Um, just by getting getting everybody more involved with each other, getting more resources in, helping everybody and being a true community. And um, yeah, so does anybody else wanna add any other purposes and goals? I think it's on here. I would like to. <laughs> here it says 10 minutes and I'm like, I'm like, oh, wow. Oh. I got something. Are you gonna work with something with <laughs> with kids like expanding the skate park or like you know things like that to get them off the streets because right now like the past year we we're all stuck at home and i feel like physical activity would be great for the kids i just want to yeah you get me <laughs> yeah. thanks oh, this, this is vicente gonzalez reyes i would like i like to for us to kind of like focus on the restrooms on Lincoln Park or other restrooms in Lincoln Heights, like public restrooms, it's getting out of control. There's like mattresses, there's like needles. When I will volunteer in different nonprofits and have events at the park, there's that's the biggest issue that we deal with in the, in the public parks. 
And I think that's, that should be one of our priorities before we even start having events, you know? And uh, I tried reaching out before in the past, but it, I can only do so much. I need the support of everybody and everybody to be on board. And um, it, we, we have to, we got to do those town hall meetings. And, you know, without disrespecting nobody or screaming, but having a seat at the table and working together and making things happen. And I'm all for kids. You know, I'm blessed with four kids. You know, um, that's what motivates me every day to even get involved and keep continue doing what I do in our community. And, um, you know, just like, I don't know if you guys ever heard, uh, I don't know, this is a good example, but I don't know if you guys ever attended those uh, night on Broadway, night on Broadway with uh, Jose Huizar, Councilman Jose Huizar. What did we do that like a night on Broadway over here in our Broadway, you know, where we bring activities for kids, seniors, everyone, not just one group, but for everyone. And um, I mean, this is all great ideas, but we, I want to put them to work though. I will write, I would like to see when we call me at a local restaurant or have a meeting there. That's one thing that we will do. We will have our meetings in different locations, you know, so that way we get introduced to the community, let them know that we're their voice in the community. And it's about working with everyone and making things happen because at the end of the day, there's so, it's only so much we could do, you know. And before I get time for taking over and talking, I'll let someone else talk. I like yeah, to comment on that. Um, oh, go ahead. Uh, Sounds oh, fine. Go ahead, Annalie. No, you're fine. Go, All go, right. Go. I was gonna, I was gonna comment on that because I, I, I recently went to the Montebello skate park, and the restrooms are so, they're not perfect, but they're a lot, like night and day. Uh, they, I guess they have a better understanding of how sanitation should be at a park. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea to uh, have, you know, since we are outreach, probably a very uh, good way, not only for a setup for a town hall, um, just for the um, Avenue 26 night market, but just maybe a reoccurring once a month town hall so that people can, you know, know that that's the day, maybe one month they don't have any concerns, but maybe another month that they do, because I think there's just a really big variety. You know, um, I was going to add in that there's, you know, different things that I, that people were telling me during canvassing, like, uh, you know, concerns like for old people or people in wheelchairs about the sidewalks and things like that. Um, so figuring out different ways to tackle those, whether it's getting in touch with the city or coming up with some kind of program or however we can. But yeah, so I think that we're getting doing it. Uh, the town hall would be a really, a really good idea. Um, I think that that everything kind of is, uh, I don't know how you guys feel that the outreach, the purpose and goals and the discussion and I, the, what the, okay, all, I was going to say it's almost all covered, but what I do want to do in the item C with discussion and possible action on future agenda items right now, maybe uh, lead in from everything we were talking about before, especially with the town hall, do we want to talk about when we would like to set up for a town hall for um, the Avenue 26 night market. I know that there's a lot of different concerns going on with a bunch of different people. There's lots of voices that have not been heard. Um, so that we want to set up a forum for that and then maybe see if that's that particular day and time is something that for uh, future for the future we could use like monthly um, Emily, before we go to item c victor had his hand up oh okay sorry okay victor go sorry. oh no sorry uh, it just piggyback on what we were talking about um uh and what you're saying uh i think that's a great idea about the town hall and setting something up or probably be maybe possibly after like our general body meeting so we can have like the whole board be prepared and, and know what we're going to talk about in the town hall and then the other thing, um, do we have a like a 
like a, a cap of how much money we can spend for outreach or is that just open and, and open for voting? So I'm not sure if we have a cap. Okay, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I'm new to this like everybody else. I don't know if Vincent possibly knows. I don't know if I'm allowed to ask him right now or if it's something that we could just look into and then get back to you about. Yeah, um, Victor, I'll send you the info on that because uh, the actual agenda item is going to be on our next general meeting. So I'll give a better explanation at the general board meeting. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, you have Vicente Gonzalez. No, I apologize for not raising my hand. I'm so used to being part of the other neighborhood council members, you know? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, we, what we used to do before, we used to split the money between areas, so that way we could do like an outreach event. But at the end of the day, it will basically just be me and partly Downey Park. I forgot what area is that. But um, yeah, it, it, it all depends on us, on the neighborhood council as a, uh, you know, to decide how much we want to spend uh, you know, we could either split it or it's our choice, like how we want to use, how we want to do outreach. I mean, I noticed in the past, at least with my, I'm just talking from experience, like we, I, if, if we're part of outreach. It's not just putting a, a what is it? Um, we, we need to let people know that there's meetings. We need to invest in banners. We need to invest in you know, uh, put in, in a, a right on the 99 cent store from Lincoln Heights, you know, or in front of Lincoln High School, we need to put banners letting people know when are our meetings, what is the Zoom link, you know, uh, we, need, we need to be out there. Every time there's an outreach meeting or any meeting from the neighborhood council, we need to all share it and let people know that we're out here, you know, at the end of the day, like, um, I mean, I'm willing to volunteer. Like, I mean, this is a volunteer position already, but I'm willing to go out there and put in every business, not just in Dino's or certain businesses, but in every Lincoln Heights business. I mean, we're always invited to be part of the Lincoln Heights farmer's market and we are welcome to have a booth there. I mean, that's a great opportunity right there where we could take turns just passing out literature or information about future or coming events. And I agree with the brother. I forgot, I haven't got everybody's name. Um, but uh, yeah, I go to Downey, I go to Montebello. Big, a big difference compared to the Lincoln Heights uh, restrooms. I mean, I, I did, um, there was one time that I did focus on putting pressure on for them to uh, start working on the restrooms and they ended up retaliating against me, you know, and nothing was done. And all the groups that I will volunteer with, they were not able to get permits. So, like I said, there's only so much I could do by myself. I need community support in order to make this a reality. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done and we're volunteers. We have our personal lives going on, but um, I think we'll, we're a good team. I think we have great ideas and I think um, it's time for us to put Lincoln Heights in the map and let everybody know that we're here. And whoever comes in, uh, we want them to be part of the community and work together as, a, as one, you know, and that's it. That's all I got to say. Yeah, I think maybe one thing that would be effective is we get like maybe do some tabling events or something in front of like uh, in front of the 90 cent store and then uh, and get the word out maybe for the town halls or uh, repeating town halls and then uh, then uh, And Lee, cut off. Hello? That's better. Sorry, my phone's picking up Wi-Fi. Uh, 
yeah, um, you know, uh, the more people get familiarated, then, you know, um, the, and then, you know, they'll know when the uh, meetings are happening and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, get everybody uh, on board more. I think everybody, yeah, and uh, has all that in, uh, as a goal in mind for sure. So uh, now, now are we we're moving on to item C? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um so I uh know that there we have gone through a couple of different things um that we want to concentrate on and one thing in particular uh you know obviously is the town hall um, the first town hall being about the Avenue 26, uh, since it is uh, pretty pertinent right now. Um, and um, I don't, Vincent, is, is it, would, be a, uh, would it be a town hall only specifically for the Avenue 26, or would this be something that people could also, we would just do a separate one for other things like? Um, yes, the, uh, the town halls are usually for one specific item, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can right. focus on it. Okay. So, um, so I know there's other, you know, as a outreach group, we can get the ball rolling with these other items that we've all brought up and have concerns over. And as far as the, um, the town hall win would be, um, does everybody think would be a good time to do that um i personally would like to shoot for not this coming monday but the next monday give us time to do some outreach and get uh, lots of people on board for that does that sound good to everybody else i agree so that would be, hold on, let me see, Monday. Monday the 23rd. Uh, Victor has his hand up, Victor. Uh, yeah, I, um, is it just gonna be us or outreach or the whole body, general body uh, board members are gonna be in a town hall speaking? I mean, the town hall, I believe, is just like we as outreach would go out and have flyers that we're going to have the town hall. And it's for community members to be able to voice their um, concerns and opinions on Avenue 26. The, the reason why so really I, it's, a forum, it's more of a forum for the community to to speak. I'm but sure. outreach acts as the people that notifies everybody. I was just thinking maybe we should um hold it after the general body meeting so we can discuss it at the general body meeting since everyone's going to be involved or I'm not sure if that's a good idea um, what is the next general body meeting I think uh the second right I have a personal I have a personal conflict of time uh for after the meeting that's why I was suggesting Monday because Monday is yeah so and is this going to be uh virtual or, or or out uh in person or i believe it's on zoom it's on zoom gotcha yeah so maybe like uh like a six o'clock on monday the 23rd i agree because it's kind of hard to juggle all those on the same day yeah, I mean, people might be tired out too. Like if it's after the general board meeting, we don't know how long it's going to go. So we can't really set a time. The, t the general board meeting oh, no, goes I'm, from I'm, six until- Sorry, I meant, I meant after like the next day or so. <laughs> I didn't mean like right right after specifically like during that time. Well, let's see. I mean, 
if we do it on the Monday, then it gives us two weekends to be able to, you get what I'm saying? If we did it after the board meeting, our next board meeting is going to be on the 19th, which means that it would be on the 20th, which would only give us one weekend to really do outreach. Um, and Fridays are not the, I mean, I would have to do one a little bit earlier. I don't know how well that would work. Um, Okay, you know, I think that I'm, maybe raising, time I'm raising my hand. Sorry, I'm raising my hand. Uh, Vicente Gonzalez Reyes, can I say something or yeah, I, wait go, on I, I, can't see, I can't see who's raising their hand, so yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I just uh, get too excited. <laughs> um, it's either we do a meet and greet with outreach or meet and greet with the whole neighborhood council, you know, since we're all new. And so that way we get to uh, kind of have like a meeting and greet. Uh, we could use some of our funds just to, um, I mean, just for appetizers or something small, maybe at a senior hall or on a local business. It all depends on all of us where we want to have it. It's just an idea. Uh, it's either meet and greet or coffee with the Lincoln, Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council, you know? And we, our main focus might be uh, like, like Annalise said, maybe Avenue 26. But um, I think the issue there, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I cannot just focus it on one issue. But I think, you know, there was a lot of outsiders coming in, you know, selling alcohol or, you know, they're not from around here. They don't take pride. They just came over to make business, you know, do business. Right. And... That's sort of the consequence, but um, I don't know if we want to focus on just Avenue 26 and then kind of bring up whatever issues come out that day and uh, Vince moving forward. Vince said it would have to be just the town hall would be focusing on one item. Okay. Yeah, so then maybe when we do, um, you know, do tabling, we could get, you know more feedback for different things, maybe certain things of concern and do town halls for that. You know, I mean, as we, as we move forward, we'll start to, I think, like build up, you know, I don't uh, to, how it, small, it'll be, we'll, we'll become an, a, an, uh, um, a uh, nicely oiled machine, you know, the more. Just to put the, some clarity on it for uh, Victor and Vicente and how the town halls work, it's usually on the issue, like, for example, in Avenue 26, and it'll take on multiple issues with multiple different departments. Um, in the Planning and Land Use Committee meeting, we recommended the town hall with the joint committee meeting of outreach and land use because it has to do with land use, and we're going to need outreach's help to do some of the outreach while we reach out to the agencies and the town halls are usually uh, based on the agencies that represent like street services that streets vending, a representative from Cedillo's office to talk about, you know, reasons why, you know, um, LAPD, um, the fire department. So we're gonna need some time to send these emails out to them requesting for them to send representatives and then get a date and time where we can set it up for the town hall. So there'll be a couple of meetings before this and a special joint committee meeting. And that joint committee meeting will be the committee members that are, are currently on um, planning and outreach. Those two groups will combine together in one meeting to create the town hall. Because it is gonna take a lot of people power to call and get people together, plus outreach and possible purchasing some flyers to hand out and post up so people have all the information. Uh, Annalie, Victor has his hand up. Victor, um, I just had a suggestion. I, I think probably, like since you mentioned, a lot of planning is involved. Maybe two weeks to plan it will be a little bit more reasonable, and possibly have it on on the Thursday, the twenty sixth. I don't know. That's just a suggestion. Yeah, I mean, we first had. Remember, we first got to get our first meeting down, which Annalie, uh, Vicente. Um, Sarah and Benny 
Uh, they are the chairs of the two committees. They're going to have to get together in an email and just basically pick a date and time for the first joint meeting. In that joint meeting, we can then start to set the times up. That gotcha. Way, and, and all of us can take a different department. Like someone can take the fire department, LAPD, or, you know, Cedillo's office and reach out to them. And the committee will follow up to create everything. Once we get the okay from them, or if we're comfortable with whoever's going to attend, we can then hold the town hall meeting and set a date and time. Got it. Thank you. Annalie, uh -huh. back to you. I don't... Uh, I don't, I know Chris, uh, there was someone in the public, Christine, that had her hand up, but we passed public comment. I don't, as chair, you, you have the authorization to recognize her so she can give a comment or answer a question because I, I don't think she was here when item number three was open, but that's up to you. Okay. You don't have to, you can if you want to or you can go and move to a German if you guys are finished on your discussion. Um, yeah, she can, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me, let me unmute her. Uh, Christina, please state your name for the record. Um, this is Christina Smith, I'm your webmaster. I'm I the one that, that posts everything on the website for you. So I thought I'd pop into the meeting and see how you guys were doing. Um, and on item number C, discussion and possible action of future agenda items. Um, I have some ideas to improve the website because I'd like to put it on a new platform. Um, it's something that I'd like to talk to you all about. And um, maybe if you've got a lot of stuff on your plate right now. It's not something we would do in the next month, but maybe something that we would start talking about and have it change maybe three months down the road but I wanna start talking about it because what we have is so old and it's kind of um, not secure, not really secure. It doesn't have SSL and all that. And so um, it's just something I'm hoping we'll put on a future agenda and I'll show a couple of samples at that time. And we'll move okay, awesome. I actually, I actually um, have uh, been meaning to reach out to you to talk about the website, so... Um, yeah, um, if you don't mind um, sending me an email so I have your contact, um, my email is, okay, are, are you ready? Let me get my phone out and put it on, right, because I don't have a pen in front of me, but I have my phone. I know. So, let's see. Okay, let me see, contacts, add, and it's Anna Lee, right? A N N A L E E dot L H N C at gmail dot com. Got it. All right, I'll email you and we'll have a conversation through email. And then awesome. maybe like a month down the road, I'll give you some samples and we can bring them to an outreach committee meeting and talk about them or something. But in the meantime, if you have anything you want to do with the current website, I'm happy to help, whatever I can do. That's what you guys pay me for. I got I got one. We need to update our committee names, delete some, and update the, the members. Is there someone that can send me that information? Uh, I'll, I'll contact Annalie and I'll uh, have her, I guess she could include in the conversation you guys have. Yeah, I just need a list and I can update it. Perfect, we can get that done for you. Okay, great. Thank you. For Christina, Christina can, I say, can I ask you something? Christina? Oh, one second. Hold on. Let me... Okay, I'm here now. I'm here. Oh, it's maybe Sente Gonzalez Reyes. Uh, is there any, is there a phone number where we could send like flyers, digital flyers of the different events that are going on in Lincoln Heights where we could send it to you or would that be only through email? You can send it by text if you want. You can text me with, at my number. Okay, is it possible you could share that number with us? Sure, yes, 310. Okay, give me one second, 310. Yeah, 918-8650. It's always oh. on my emails. All my emails have my phone number. I, um, you know, all, all oh. my emails and stuff. 
Um, I don't think it's on the website. On some neighborhood councils, I have my my phone number on their websites as a contact because I answer the phone for some to have a live person uh, interact with stakeholders to find out what they need. So, um, you know, you can use that phone number. It's out there. I, I'm, I'm next to my phone all day long. <laughs> okay, great. So it's 323 No, 310-310. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Thank you. 310-918-8650. Yes, correct. All right. Thank you, Christina, for your time. Oh, you're welcome. My yes, pleasure. Have a great day. Okay, thank, thank you. Christina. Thank you. Uh, Vicente and, and Annalie, just uh, one point. We have recently the um, Congress of Neighborhood Councils adopted a data, some data thing where we anything that we post has to be approved by the general board, which is kind of horrible with the flyers because sometimes we just get them right away. Um, we can work on something in the future with our bylaws and standing rules where we might be able to give some power to the um, outreach committee to be able to post things. But for right now, uh, any flyer that comes in should go through outreach and straight through the board until we can fix that in our bylaws. And, and that, that law is not ours. That, that law was uh, applied by the uh, BONC, the Congress of Neighborhood Council. So Vincent, Chente, so if I get a flyer, if somebody shares a flyer that there's going to be a town hall, for example, let's just say at this Saturday mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock, we cannot share it or until the whole board approves it. Uh, that, that's what they're saying right now on it. Um, our bylaws don't say that, um, but I, but I think it should go just in front, at least in front of the committee, just to give some clearance from the board. Um, until we can figure things out with them because they're writing some of the rules that we didn't have any say in and all of a sudden we got to follow them, right? Um, and they're general rules that they're putting out for us. And the data, I'll send the data uh, report out to everybody so everyone can look it up. But I, what I would do is if you have it, we should have put it on to here. If not, um, send it to Sarah and we'll see what we can do with it. If you can send it to the executive committee, let's see what we can do with it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anna Lee? Yep. Okay. So you guys are on item C. Someone, if you guys are done, someone has to motion to adjourn the meeting. And then you I motion to adjourn the meeting. Oh, there was Richard. <laughs> somebody... I, se I second that motion. Is Victor? Okay, Victor, and then you just call for the vote. All in favor, yay. And those opposed? All in favor, yay. 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 Those yay. Those opposed? Cool. All right, this meeting is adjourned. All right, thank you all for your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, thank good night. Good first meeting, guys. Good night. Yay. Good night, so bye. Much,